Hello, wanna see a glitch in the matrix? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Of course, we are into March, which means temperatures are going to start going up. And very soon, I'm hoping next week, I'm not going to need the pellet burner until the end of the summertime because we're going into double digits in the evenings and mid 20s during the day. And then although I'm at the house in the village seven days a week trying to get that finished, I do have um, a couple of things that I want to get out of my system. The paintings aren't a priority at the moment looking at the house, uh, but I do want to get this one thing done. And this is going to be a painting of James and Christina's three dogs. I'm really hoping, really hoping that I can make this look half decent. So we'll see, hopefully, at the end of the video and we'll get their reaction. Uh, this well cover, it's the very last thing that I've got to do on this well. And I really want to get it out of the way. It's got a nice day today, it's Saturday. And tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and possibly Wednesday, I think we've got rain. So it makes perfect sense to be at the house in the village, continuing there while that is raining and out here, make the most of this dry day and see if I can get this sorted out before, and hopefully in time for my washing to dry. The plan is, I've got the outer ring and that's gonna sit on top of the concrete circle in the well. And then I've got a smaller inner ring and that's so that I can lower and raise buckets of water now that will probably never be used it's more of an aesthetics but i think it will look quite nice and i want the inner ring to be slightly higher than the outer ring purely because because it would be so much easier to do it flat my welding and well if it's flat and i don't do a good job of the welding then it's not going to be very strong whereas if i have it slightly raised in the middle i have a triangle shape and then that will um add a little bit of strength, pushing everything to the outer ring. That's the plan. Right, I've got that pretty centered, I'd say. Uh, I've still got some more tape to put on there and there will be my markers for the metal so I can cut them out. I got that far and then James turned up because it's such a lovely day. We decided not waste it. We've been up in the hills on a little bit of a jolly. So a bit later in the afternoon. So I better hurry up now. <laughs> Eat my toast first though. that bit by eye so getting that spot on I'm pretty chuffed with that
there. Theoretically now, if I remove the blocks that should push down with the four that I've got in place and it should hold. <laughs> uh. Will it hold? Oh, look at that. Wow. You know what? Look. <laughs> okay. 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 Don't worry. Oh, God damn it. That is now holding in place so what, what I did is I twisted it and of course that's why spokes on wheels are crisscrossing because now if I turn it that way or that way it's just going to collapse but what I'm hoping now is I've got that in place if I can just spot weld those in so that they're tight and then using these I can then either go across like that and cut each one, weld those. That's what happens when you're a silly boy. Right, see you in the morning. There we go. What a state of this roof. Awful, but we'll be getting to it. So the sun is out, then it rains, and then the sun's out again. Got soaked this morning walking the dogs. Drying off a little bit now. I've been to the house in the village and I'm ready to come back to this well cover. And I don't know what I'm doing on the roof, but I thought I'd uh, just give you a different angle. I've had to work now underneath the shelter because of the on off rain. And I was planning on working in this area where I got the workbench, but the workbench isn't wide enough for the diameter of the well cover. So I'm going to work on the floor, a bit awkward, but at least I know I'm going to be dry. In case you're wondering about the house in the village, by the way, I haven't done any videoing last week and I probably won't this coming week because we're just plastering. And I'm very aware that it's getting a little bit tedious. You've already seen all the walls sorted out with the base coats on. Um, it's all coming along really well now. I've only got a little bit, maybe three or four more days worth of plastering to do. And that's gonna really change it. James has been working on the ceiling, so you will see all that, but that'll be in the next couple of weeks. I don't really wanna be doing too much videoing there at this point because we're trying to get the house finished and setting up camera and waffling takes up an amazing amount of time. You'd be quite surprised how much time I put into setting up the camera. It is, I still haven't learned the art basically, put it that way. But anyway, that will be all in the next coming videos and it will be a huge change as I hope this will be very soon. So I've got tape on there at the moment Going to take that off one by one that just made it easier for me to move and it didn't fall apart i've got to clean the metal and then i want to tack each end of those eight spokes and uh, hopefully it'll be fixed and then i can do some proper welding on there when i say proper i mean proper as far as i can because i don't have much experience and i haven't had as much chance to do the practicing because we've been at the house in the village but anything i do on here and as good a job as I can do obviously is going to bode well in the future when I start on my house and things that are going to be more visible this is going to be covered with the green material which is between the bamboo and the lights there that's just going to protect it from little critters and leaves and so on so you won't really see it I will be spraying it make sure that it's uh, rust proof
Ah, okay. It isn't perfect, but I will give myself a six out of 10 for effort and four out of 10 for uh, quality because it isn't the best in the world. I could have done better, but there is quite a lot that needed to be done on that. I've done both sides and instead of tacking it now, I've actually got a bit carried away and done the entire lot. Now, I might as well as I've got time, finish it off by putting those bars all the way around there and get all the welding out of the way. Hopefully, once I've sanded it down, it will look a lot smarter. You know what? It's all part of the practice and it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. And I did actually off camera stand on it and it held. So that's all that matters. I won't do it again though. Yeah, I really should have uh, cleared these stones while it was dry because now, especially as it's clay here, that's going to be all messy and I really want to get that cleared, pushed to one side before I put the cover on it so that it, uh, it will look finished. Anyway. You're looking beautiful, aren't you? Good boy paying attention to what Will's doing at the moment. They're like partners in crime, darting around all over the place. It's like Hound of the Vast Baskervilles at the moment. Don't know if that's coming across, but there is a really low cloud through these hills. You can't even see the hills from here. Certainly takes on a whole new perspective, doesn't it? Because you're used to seeing it with the blue skies. So Chris and Will are getting on really well, I'm happy to say, and I'm really enjoying having him here with us on the land. Anyway, I'm going to go back as I'm soaking wet and have a shower, dry off, do a bit of painting, and tomorrow I'll carry on with that well cover after I've been to the house in the village. What do you reckon? I'm waiting for that moment where I can get a slow-mo of both Will and Chris jumping over this water, and I hope I could do it before it dries out. No sign of it at the moment because Chris goes the way I go. He's not stupid. I thought I'd show you this, especially with the noise of the insects and this foggy low cloud. Movie set, looks amazing. So I got these lights ages ago, but I couldn't get them in the soil because it was so hard. Now we've had the rain, made it a lot easier. Going down the driveway after our walks, I like to walk around the perimeter with the dogs and I've been walking into things. So having the lights has made a huge difference. I've got to get a load more though down the other side of the driveway and that's going to look really cool. Very cheap, which does help and I can change the color. But green works really well. And these flame lights, they're so cool. Hello. Right. We've had to wait a couple of days because we've had quite a lot of rain. But before it rained, I managed to get these bars going around here. One of them, though, I have to move because I realise I'm going to have a pump going down. I want to leave as big a gap as possible. So I'm going to cut this off smaller, put it back on here, weld it, and then see if I can go around the lot anywhere that's loose, re-weld sand it down and get it ready for paint leave it overnight and tomorrow we'll put the netting over it and then down to the well of course i realized after i got to this stage and this is part of the learning curve of one not actually planning it out before i started and kind of making it up as i went along and then realizing, of course, hindsight is fantastic, isn't it? If I had just cut each one of these to a, a guest length, it wouldn't have mattered whether this ring was higher or lower. That's come out really well. 
And I think what I'm going to do is uh, spray it on top first now, and then tomorrow I can turn it over and put the underside a coat on there so that when I'm back from the house in the village, I can put the material, the meshing around there and take it down to the well. And uh, I know that we'll get it all done in this video. My knickers in a twist at the moment because I'm running backwards and forwards from the house in the village and it is Saturday afternoon at half past three and as you know I like to put my videos up on a Saturday so I better hurry up at this stage here so at least you'll know as with every video that I do is always within that week and up to that last minute which is why sometimes it goes up a little bit later I have also been doing a little bit of videoing for the next video so yeah I'm all over the place but the good news is we got some windows and James, I've left him at the house in the village now and he's fitting those. And I think we're going to get the door on there. So next week you'll see all that. And what a difference that makes. You're seeing the frames in it at the minute. On the way back, I've got a puncher. So I've been darting back here. And uh, anyway, this has got to be done. I've sprayed the underside of this now. So it's both sides done. And now I've got to attach this material, this meshing, using some, I think I'm just going to use tie wraps and uh, run it down to the well and get it on top of there and hopefully uh, do it very soon. So I better hurry up. To the well, Batman. Get rid of this. This will be that one moment, won't it? Sod's law when I fall down the well. No, we don't. Are we on? I think we are. Oh. I feel somewhat lower down than I was expecting it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so proud of this. It's not every day that you get to work on a well and a well on your own bit of land. This was something to look at at the very beginning. Hard to tell it was an actual well. So to get it to this stage and look back at all the hard work that went into it, it really was worth it. And having that top on there now finishes it off. I'm going to come back at the end of the summertime when the water's gone down and put some steps in there. I've had loads of comments on that. I will put them in. It's not a biggie. I can use the steps, the ladder, but I think it'll be quite nice to have in there if everyone needs to go down there, clear it out, whatever. And those two holes, I'll come back to that. That's not important. Just going to be a framework for a bucket that I'm never going to use. As far as I'm concerned, this is my very first job on this house that I could tick off. 
Anyway, job done, tick it off, on to the next. Well, that is definitely going to be the last painting I'm going to do in a while. That took forever. Last night, I was up till midnight doing that. But I think it looks all right. I just got to hope James and Christina like it. Let's go and find out. Hello. Right. Got James and Christina here at the ready. I've literally just walked here and set it up and I've asked them to shut their eyes and just stay on that side of the canvas and I want to get their reaction. I've got my fingers crossed that they're going to like this. All right. Open your eyes. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. That is so cool. <laughs> Isn't this good? Oh my goodness. Lincoln, he looks just like his eye. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> wow, that is- Was it worth it? It's worth it. It's actually, this. I didn't know what to expect. Right. So that's pretty cool. Look, they, they want some attention. <laughs> uh, that is actually there we go. See you next week. Bye. Really good. It is actually so good.